This is Titan Chaser. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be something kind of like Troll Hunter. Like it's it's a game where you're traveling through a dark world attempting to track down some kind of monster, I believe. That's the impression I've gotten from the trailer. I have not yet pushed this button, which is labeled experience, by the way. Like, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can get more pretentious than to have your new game button say experience on it. So I am all in with this. Let's, let's see what they've got to offer. Loading. Ah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I have to invert, I have to invert. Must invert. Ah, there we go. Oh, I've got very low camera sensitivity. Open close. Okay, this is jumping, apparently. Y button? X button? The place seemed creepy when I arrived, so I locked the door. The keys should be around somewhere. Alright. Wow, yeah, my camera sensitivity is crazy low. Let's, do they have an option for it? Here we are, look sensitivity. Let's just... Uh, that feels more comfortable to me, yes. Um, why did I leave the water on? It still feels awesome to have water all day without schedule. It's better to save it, though. This bathroom is about the size of my apartment in Bright City, and I would be locked there for months now. I'd better keep this job. Okay, so we've got a bathroom that apparently does not contain my keys. Crappy memory, ah. but at least I'm well organized. By the way, the slight uh, frame stutter that you're seeing is... Uh, that is in the game. It's not stream performance. But there is just a little bit of... Yeah, it feels like things move kind of in a staccato way in this game. It's locked. Don't I have the keys? I guess I got the keys to the room and not the keys to my. Oh, I should leave my door. I should leave my door open like this. There we go. Can't leave your door open at a motel. Oh, enter car. Is that different from? Nope. Okay. So I apparently don't have the keys to my car. So, and maybe that's not even my car. Maybe I was about to steal a car, and the game just rescued me from a life of crime. Cloudcraft asks, did you actually take the keys? I, I believe I did. Yeah, I think that's how I opened the door. Hey, Jasper. What's with the moody atmosphere? Great talk, as always. Oh, okay. Apparently it's like they've got valet parking or something. Thanks for keeping the keys safe, Jasper. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that they just could only afford one voice Jasper's actor. Creepy if I haven't seen the day <laughs> shift's workers. Yeah, so it definitely feels like English is a second language for this team, which is totally fine. Uh, the characters got a little bit of that, but it's actually authentic. If they're not meant to be an English speaker, then uh, it's great to have them, uh, you know, be slightly off. Smell of old leather, gas, and alcohol. Yep, I love this car. I'll call you Christine from now on. Christine? That's creepy. But I'm betting they just didn't have time uh, or whatever to record uh, a time or resources to record a voice actor for Jasper. So they're like, you know what? Let's just have him not talk and let's lean into it. I mean, if you're going to... Wow, I take every step. A window. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful night out. Wow, you really need to take every single step. What's this? I don't know you, Clark, but I'm grateful. Music can save my day. Or night, actually. Also, I hope you left your booze somewhere. I might need it. Okay, I've got some kind of map here, it looks like. But I can't really see it. I like that they're playing the uh, Stranger Things uh, theme. Okay, so I'm driving now. Being oh. able to just walk around while Wait a minute, what? Lockdown is cheering me up. This car is hard to control. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So, 
this car does not control like a usual video game car. Like if I just tap on the accelerator, it just starts going forward. Like I'm not, I'm not holding anything right now. Normally to move like this in a video game, see, can I stop? Okay, so I can slowly brake and start reversing. That's good. So maybe they just don't want me to have to hold the accelerator. I just, I tap to raise my speed, I guess? Or do they just have the, the car idle? What's this? Wait, what did I just... Oh, I just hit the handbrake by accident. Okay, I don't know what this is that I just turned on, but it's on now. So let's go this way, I guess? I guess station. If I call Jasper from a phone booth, this will become a vacation point instead of ground rock. If I stuck somewhere. Or when I stuck. Okay, so I can look closer at things. Okay, let's handbrake. I just want to look at this, so... Should live at Silent Peak Lighthouse. Last time seen at Windland Plains. Attacked to att attracted to bright blue light. Afraid of darkness. Feels safe on bridges. Short sighted. Satellite towers are recommended to use. So I'm looking for a wyvern. Okay. Bright city. Does this show me? Do I know where I am? Okay, Grand Rock, I think, is where I am. Let's go back tonight to another time. I was driving this car before you cool job, but I believe he gets lonely to drive in silence. So made a mixtape. Okay. So if I'm in Grand Rock, where am I trying to get? Silent Peak Lighthouse? Windland Plains? Windland Plains. Oh, up here. So I'm going to want to take a left turn out of Grand Rock, I guess. The voice you are about to hear is that of the thought of okay. one Samuel Jones, the state executioner for His Majesty George III. Interesting. He sits below in a dismal room. Listening he to is. weird, spooky stories I on the radio? I want to be dead, dead, dead. Do you feel anything when you're dead? Are you hungry? Are you cold? Windlands Plains, they produce most no. of the energy for Woodville and, uh, and Bright City. But I remember I frequent shutdowns this time yes. of the year. I wonder, was it because of Titans? I don't like the English concept. They say it doesn't hurt, only hanging hurt. I know it does. That is... I've seen that okay, so it's attracted to blue light. I've seen that faces in the mask. came off and they painted them, painted the twist. I don't see any blue light. I see green fog. That's everything I can see. That's why I've got to use this pistol to kill myself. I can't stand pain. All I want is peace. Peace. It's getting late. So it said Silent Peak Lighthouse. I assume that's in Windland Plains? I only did my duty. Someone's got to be the hangman. Someone's got That's what he said to me that night. That's what his lordship said to me 20 years ago at Forest. He said, Samuel Jones, eh? Yes, your lordship. Makes you think you can do this work. Oh, I I just know you work it, but I see. What's your next track? Yeah, we don't necessarily need to listen to this uh, radio show I can barely understand. I'd rather to, uh, I'd rather just vibe to some chill music. I think you might be able to get the soundtrack uh, if you if you look at this on Steam, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, no one might says that in State of Decay 2, uh, he's got a survivor called Mary, uh, who has minus five morale because she hates horror movies. Who is making her watch them? No, 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 no. You don't get it, no one might. She's beautiful. I'll tell you in a sec. I hope she's not hungry. Oh, gosh, what? What the heck? It's a freaking wyvern. No one might. Oh. To another bridge. At least it's the right direction to the siren peak. Okay, so, all right, the wyvern took off, so I'm going to keep driving. I don't, th I think this game is not, 
meant to be something like The Witcher or whatever, where you're hunting, or like Monster Hunter, where you're hunting monsters. I think this is really meant to be a chill game to vibe to. And it's kind of got the spooky atmosphere, but kind of a fun, relaxing, spooky atmosphere. I think I'm just going to keep following this road. I suspect it'll probably still lead me to where the wyvern's going to be. Maybe? Anyway, no on my. Mary lives in a horror movie. That's why her morale is really low. She's in State of Decay 2. She's a State of Decay 2 character. That's why she's unhappy. It's like, I've hated this my whole life. Why are you making me live through this? The spotlight on a train is still on. It's clearly not moving anywhere. Well, okay, not my business. Oh, wait, it's derailed? Okay, this, I think it's turning me back in about the same direction that the wyvern went. So I'm going to keep driving. I think this game is not meant to, like, be some, like, overwhelming challenge. Whoa, this is a very hilly street. The way that my headlights shine off the fog is actually pretty realistic. Are you wyvern now it could be i could have been wrong about my um decision to just keep driving on the same road because i'm genuinely not sure where i am right now i'm on this very twisty road. okay i went across this bridge what the national broadcasting company presents light up Shush you. Um, I think I went around this windy road through the Windland Plains and then crossed this bridge. So I think if I keep following the road... Oh, it'll take me past Silent Peak. And there's another bridge eventually here or here. Maybe this... Is this a bridge that's out? Maybe. Okay. So just reassuring myself that I'm probably still on the right path. have to see. Maybe I'm going to drive my car into a lake and it's going to be great. Super Fahey says honk to communicate with the wyvern. I got an achievement for honking? Scare a wyvern with your car horn? What? Super Fahey, were you serious? Have you played this game before? Did you know that was a thing? Also, a lamppost in the middle of nowhere. I hope Aslan is around somewhere. <laughs> nice. Nice reference. Um, okay, so I'm on the beach now? Oh, maybe this is where. Maybe. Oh, this is a beach, the Iron Coast. Silent Peak is the left. Was Silent Peak what I was looking for? Silent Peak Lighthouse. I, I, oh, man, this is a creepy game. Look, I can turn my head all the way around. Oh, my gosh, I'm possessed. Okay, so there should be a lighthouse out here to the left somewhere. I'm out here on the beach. And looks like there is a road here. get onto it. I might need to find a different place to get onto the road. Unless, oh, maybe right here? No. <laughs> right, of course, I need to spin my head back around again and my neck will end up with a crick in it. Okay, thank you. That was a good move. Okay, just being right alongside the road is weird. Please let me back in. I'm probably way off course now. Ooh, there's some kind of building up here, though. I still haven't seen a lighthouse. This place is so foggy. I mean, 
mean, how would I see a lighthouse anyway? Oh, ah. Okay, I've turned around because. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait. Is that a bridge that's out? Oh, my gosh. I have. No. No, I've got my car stuck. I've gotten my car stuck. Oh, wait, I've got a light on the roof. How do I turn that off? I don't know what to do with this situation. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay, well, we're here. Point. I'm not sure. This diner was abandoned before I was even born. It's a long story. Another time. Huh. This definitely feels like the setup of a horror movie. I wrecked my car in the middle of nowhere. Got to go to an abandoned diner. Now, this is a tiny diner. Yeah, one of the downsides of being, like, relentlessly first person is, like, it could be that there was an easy-to-see lighthouse on the road somewhere, and I missed it because I was confined to my car. Oh. I, I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I don't know how I ended up getting off the road. Which was probably part of my problem, but, uh... I have nothing to store here It feels like there really is something to this game, but I have utterly failed to discover it. Okay, what are my options? Ooh, two last checkpoints. Okay, so interesting. So let me explore my car a little bit better. Headlights? Oh, I can turn the headlights on and off. Okay, so I'm back here. So I would still need to. Now I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit better, and I know what to avoid. So the thing I don't know is. The big... Oh. Is that the light on the roof? No, I think it's just the interior light. Okay. Let's try this again. This time I'll know a little bit more about what I need to do. And what not to do. Like, how about I don't get off the road this time? How does that sound? Um... Uh, my brakes do not perform very well. Now, should I stop at this gas station? Let's let's stop at the gas station real quick. Just because we've already driven this route before, so let's make it a little bit more interesting. Like, I hadn't noticed this giant satellite dish, for instance. Good luck to anyone who expects actual gas station services here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here that I can interact with. It's just... Alright. Cool. Well, let's so sh show some uh, social responsibility and close the door when I leave. Oh, Cloudcraft suggested a wider FOV might also help. Uh, we could certainly try that. Let's maximize it! Okay, so I'm a little bit more distant from everything. And actually, I think the vehicle might occupy more There's of the frame. Top of the bridge. Wait, did I go the right way? It just occurred to me that I might have lost track of where I was going. Oh yeah, I'm crossing the bridge instead of turning left to the Windland Plains. 
That might actually be quicker though. If I go if I go across this bridge and turn left, that might take me to the other bridge faster. And it would be a different route. So let's let's give that a try. Where is this? There was a left turn. Yeah, there's like another road over here. I think this road will take me to the other bridge, which I think is where I saw the wyvern the first time. I don't know if that means it'll still be there or what. Like when it when it said return to checkpoint, I don't know if it reset all the I mean it certainly didn't reset the music, for instance. So I don't know if it just meant it just teleported me to where I was, but the game was still in the same state. Or if I actually went back in time and now the wyvern will still be at the first bridge where I found. volume. So Cloudcraft is telling me that apparently there's a way to to make a new checkpoint? And I to remember, it's not a video game. Arrow points to north, not towards my target. So I've got a, a compass. Peace when walls between nations would fall. Men would be in conflict only against poverty and illness and the word unhappiness would be stricken forever from the human heart. Okay, so here's I think this Oh, I thought this was gonna be the bridge. Have I have I gotten disoriented? Or maybe this is a bridge? I don't know. If I am where I think I am I don't know where I think I am. Okay, yeah, so here I am among the windmills again, and so I didn't see a wyvern, so I think the wyvern is still somewhere else. So I'm going to turn around, go the way I was going before, and see... And see if I can get somewhere better than last time. Yeah, so Cloudcraft says that apparently at some point the game told me I could set a checkpoint. I missed that entirely. I didn't realize that happened. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what it said about it. I don't even know when it happened. So I think, I think right now I'm going down this way through the black woods to the silent peak. I think. Let's see if that's what I'm doing. Let's turn the light off again. Wait, what happened? Oh, I accidentally... So the A button, the X button is what... Um, the X button is what interacts with things. The A button... Uh, open, uh, turns on your handbrake in the car. And so I keep accidentally hitting A to interact with things and putting the handbrake on the car and not doing the thing I intended to do. Okay, so Cloudcraft says that if I wanted to, I could set the gas station as an evacuation point instead of the hotel using the radio. But I was prompted to do that at some point and I missed it. Okay, good to know. Next time I find a building, let's see if I get a similar prompt. This does feel like this is just meant to be a thing you uh, do. A game that you play when you want to relax and maybe not be entirely sober. <laughs> I'm not sure. So if I drive long enough in the Black Forest, that should take me where I want to go. To Silent Peak, to the lighthouse, to the beach. Maybe near a bridge. Hopefully not crashing my car. Oh, 
Oh, Cloudcraft pointed out that the, the prompt was voice, and, and I was actually ignoring voice quite a bit uh, because the radio show was kind of, yeah, kind of hard to hear, so I started tuning voices out. That's probably why I missed it. All right, so, okay, so, okay, so this is the point where I got onto the beach and it was a problem. I needed to jog over here to stay on the road. The car is not performing very well. Okay. Whoa. All right. So hopefully now I'm on track. You shut up, radio show. I just want music. I am disappointed by my friend's mixtape. dark sky. I wonder if my headlights are actually making it more difficult for me to see. I remember hiking around these satellite dishes with my dad. He told me they're space related, but it's probably something to deal with titles. I'm just curious what happens if I come to try to explore this place. I am such a... I am a little girl. I'm a little tiny... Oh my gosh, I'm a little tiny girl. Who was supposed to walk the stairs? Titans? Okay, okay thank you! Wow, okay. The view from <laughs> up here is quite nice. I wonder why they never allow anyone to go near these structures. I assumed I that it was just... Here, the oh. ocean in Bright City as good as here. Pretty sad to leave on the coast and hear only this stupid city noise all the time. So I assumed it was some kind of mistake that this thing was just sized a little bit too big. And it could easily be that they ended up needing to make it larger than they originally intended and the stairs ended up being too big. And that they solved the problem by having the character comment on it. That's actually kind of cool. Kind of a badass solution. So I approve. Uh, but yeah, it looks like there's nothing up here. It did give me a chance to kind of stop and think and look around. So I definitely do not see a lighthouse on the horizon anywhere. There's something that's a little brighter in the distance over here. I don't quite know what it is, though. I appreciate that uh, even when my headlights are off, I've still got parking lights so they can see me here. Or so that I can see it. It's weird how it seems like it resets my, my orientation whenever I get in and out of the car. All right, so yeah, what is what is this area over here? There's like lights on something. It seems like this just this game it seems like it's about like curiosity. No, stop through the window. Like, like it seems like it's less about accomplishing specific things and more about driving around this world, hearing the voice and... We never came this close. Huh. There were patrols around. Damn, she's going back to the bridge. This was too far for her. Okay. So my character, I think, is... Whoa, got a big old light over here. My character this just... was considered huh. art in the old days, and our taxes are still spent on maintaining this. My character reacted like the w wyvern had just done something, but I didn't see the wyvern anywhere. It said She said that the wyvern's gone back to the bridge. Does she mean the same bridge I saw it at before? So Cloudcore points out that, ooh, I can use the satellite station to produce light to attract the wyvern. In theory, I can. Um, I'm not seeing it come, and I don't know how much patience I should have about that. Well, let me... Okay, I'm going to grab my car. Just because I want to travel faster. Let me drive over to that satellite dish. It's got the blue light coming out of it. Hopefully, I can avoid... Oh, wait. Spotlight. Spotlight. Turn off your radio now. But if you're fascinated by the... Okay. Uh, 
Hey, wait a minute. I can either use the engine or the spotlight? Okay, my spotlight's on. Do I need to, like... Can I aim the spotlight? Okay, I don't fully understand the spotlight yet. But I can't run it at the same time as the engine of the car. Well, so this car can't work normally with the spotlight on. Good to know. No multitasking for Christine. Interesting. You would think that a car would work better. Oh, sorry, that a spotlight would work, work, would work better with the car engine charging the battery. But, uh, whatever. So I'm going over here mostly just in case having this blue light on and being at the satellite station will somehow be, it'll trigger an event to make the root wyvern come over here. But I, you know, don't have high confidence that'll work. I'm using you on our defeated corruption monument, but I'd prefer not to see it at all. Nope. Can't do anything. All right. Well, we'll try something else. What is happening right here? What in the world? <laughs> okay, it looks like I broke the lighting model somehow. So we're just gonna get the heck out of here. Yeah, it looks like the inside of the car has broken lighting now for some reason. What happens if I turn on the light? No effect. Okay, well we might be reaching the end of my ability to figure out what this game wants me to do. Um, Ranath Gord says, maybe you got too far away from the car with the light on? Maybe so? Yeah, I, I don't know. This does feel like the kind of thing we run into all the time when we're working on Standing the V2, most of which we try to solve before the game goes out. Here's where I got stuck before. Let's go a little bit further, but uh, yeah, because things are starting to fall apart, we might be pretty close to the end of our session. I remember thinking I was headed towards like I think I'm on this road I think I'm headed towards a different bridge two different bridges even Silent Peak I wasn't able to figure out where there was a lighthouse unless there's still one around here somewhere I feel like the silent, knowing where the Silent Peak Lighthouse is would probably help me track down this wyvern, but... Cloudcraft says, uh, this game feels like it's missing the final 20% that takes up most of your development time. It, it, it does, yeah, it does feel like, you know, someone had a really cool idea and built the game, but didn't, maybe didn't have the resources to, and the time to spend hammering out every single detail. Okay, we've got more of these satellite dishes. I'm on a bridge. No wyvern. Some really nice music, though. Like, honestly, I wonder if my the main discovery that I've made here is that this game has an awesome soundtrack. And... <laughs> And I might just want to pick up the soundtrack and experience that. <laughs> Let's head back over. Oh, wait, here's another... Here's another one of these. Oh, hey! I think I fixed the lighting in the car by opening the window. Or closing the window. Damn, she's going back to the bridge. This was too far for her. Okay, so... 
here's what I'm betting you need to do. I'm betting there's a specific sequence of these lights that you need to turn on. And actually, does, is there a cable connecting this to the other? No, you just kind of have to know where it is. Oh, no, there is a cable. <gasps> okay, okay. Here's what I'm betting I needed to do, which would take me more time than I have right now. I think what I needed to do was find the original bridge the Wyvern was on, then find the nearest satellite. What is that? See those words in the... Is that words in the distance in the left side? When I look towards it, it goes away. What is that? Anyway, I'm betting I needed to sort of slowly lead the Wyvern back home by turning on one light at a time. And if I fail, if I, if I turn on the wrong light, she goes back to the bridge. Okay, this is really creepy. Let's go back tonight to another time. The time of King George III of England. Okay, so story tonight is not this game... Okay, we're just going to turn off the music. Okay. So. I think that if you have a lot of time to try things and experience... Oh, what the... Airplane? That was neat. Um, I think if you have a lot of time to sort of experiment with this game, try different things, drive around, I think there's actually, there really is an interesting series of puzzles to, to, to work out and an interesting sort of mystery to explore. And, if, and I imagine it's probably really, really satisfying to get the wyvern, to figure it out and have it click in your head and have it click in the game and actually get the wyvern to do what you want. I'm not going to devote that time right now, but it does look like this game is probably very rewarding for someone who has the time and the patience to, to devote to it. So I'm really glad I tried this game out. I think it's really cool. So uh, I think that whoever made it should be proud of themselves. I mean, obviously, there's a little, you know, there's bugs and there's hiccups, there's some jank to it, but uh, that's fine. You know, in, in my mind, you know, there's, there's a lot of very slickly polished, high productive value games out there. But a lot of the more interesting, weird ideas out there are in games that don't have the same level of polish. And I like, I really like to sort of play, you know, the uh, the entire the entri entire range of games across that spectrum. Because even though some games, you know, just are never going to have, I mean, there's always going to be games that are on sort of the far end of the spectrum where, you know, they're trying weird stuff, they don't have a lot of resources, they're not able to make the game as slick and polished as a lot of other folks. Um, there's gonna be there's always gonna be good stuff going on in that area of the of the industry. So I still I'm, I'm always really glad when I see a game like this that's doing weird interesting things. Um, you know, not not quite to the polish level, but uh, the weird interesting things aren't devalued or aren't you know um, uh, eliminated by the fact that there's that there's some jank. So I appreciate this game. It's cool. If you want to subscribe to my channel and see more weird games, you can push that button to do it. I'll put some other weird games over here. Uh, you can click on those links, or you can go have a snack. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your boss.